Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. I'm back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate it. And as y'all can see, Tuesday morning, where am I? Not at work. This is what I call, or we call, this time of year for the line of work I'm in. I work for a major retailer. I ain't gonna say their name because I got a lot of haters. But this time of year is what we call a peak season. Where from August on to like November, we are balls to the walls busy, normally, because we're preparing for the holidays. Chris, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So, we are normally, this time of year, rolling. Even if we slow all year, this time of year, every year, We rolled it, except the last couple of years under Biden, and this year is even worse. Here we are in the peak season, our busiest time, and where am I? At home. So, I am back with some more doom and gloom. For those of you who see it that way, and I'm just bringing doom and gloom. To others, they see it as thanks for warning us, Big Ward. Thanks for, for keeping us up on what's really going on, Big Ward, because the news media ain't gonna tell us the truth. The news media will have you around here spending your little money, going to the mall, buying this, buying that, buying that new car, buying that new home, like everything is okay. If you listen to them, they'll have you not prepared for what's here, what's coming. They'll tell you don't believe your own lying eyes. Don't believe the high ass gas bill you just saw. The high light bill you just saw. The high grocery bill you just have to pay. It's not real. It's an illusion. They will have you believing that that receipt at the grocery counter is not really what you're seeing. If you listen to them. First, let me, before I go any farther. I don't really give a damn about the haters. Y'all know that. I enjoy them. They serve a purpose, what have you. But some of y'all are just ridiculous with the hate, man. Since day one, I've done it my way. Whatever that way is, each day can change. But whatever day it is, or however I do it, it's how I decided to do it. Ain't got nothing to do with what nobody telling me. I'd have had so many people telling me I wasn't going to make it on here. If I don't do it the way they say it, dude, you ought to do it like this, big ward. I said, no, nah, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it the way I feel like. Well, you ain't going to make it like that. That's when I had like 100 subscribers. All the way through this thing, I still got folk telling me what I ain't going to do. And I eat that shit like Fruit Loops. And I grow. While they sitting back telling me what I ain't going to do, like they know me like that. Like they know my work ethic. Like they know my genius. Like they really know me. I got jokes who's been on here 10 years. They had a channel for 10 years. Got 219 subscribers. In 10 fucking years. Telling me what I need to do on my channel. To grow. We living around. Look. That's why I tell y'all. These people. Get away from these people. Be careful who you listen to. Don't hang around like that dude that telling me what I need to do. I would never even deal with that person in real life. You don't know is. I wouldn't even, you able to get in touch with me on here. In real life, you wouldn't be 10 feet from me. You're a loser. I deal with people on my level or higher. I tell y'all to do the same thing. Don't listen to these people. Don't listen to nobody on your level beneath you. Telling you what you need to do. 
Because they're trying to pull you down to where they at. They're not trying to help you elevate because they don't know how to elevate. How the joker with 219 subscribers going to tell me how to grow my channel? Now let somebody with 100,000, 200,000, a million tell me some advice. I'm listening. Not saying I'm going to do it, but I will entertain it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to still do what I want to do. It's called freedom. When you work for yourself, freedom. That's the point of working for yourself, freedom. If you got a customer come in your store talking shit, you ain't got to serve them. Damn they money. The customer's all the way right. No, they ain't. Get your ass out of my store. I'll close down if I put up with your crap. You can shut this thing down. I, I went in the business for that right there. Well, I ain't got to put up with your crap. Now, big boy, just because you own your own business, you still got to answer. I ain't got to answer to nobody but the government and God. The customer come in talking crazy to me. I'm talking crazy to your ass. You can get out of my store. You ain't never got to shop again. You can go on Google and tell me how bad my service is. I don't give a damn. When I go in that ground, I'm going to go in that ground knowing I did it my way. I'm truly going to rest in peace. Knowing I wasn't up here trying to cater to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who think they got an idea about how to live my life. Take heed. Y'all do the same thing. You will have people broke as hell telling you how you need to become a millionaire. They out here doing that, y'all. Broke jokers telling you how to get money. 219 subscriber people telling the 60,000 plus how to grow their channel. I hit 60 in a year. You been on here 10 years. Well, I ain't been making no video. That's why I ain't got but two a call. You, you ain't been making them because you realize don't nobody want to watch you. So you quit. Like a lot of people do, they quit. And you telling me about what I need to do. When I'm a soldier, I persevere. I keep going. I figure out what works. I, want, I thought about doing all the fancy stuff and all like that. But my people like it like this. When I say my people, I'm talking about the majority, not you. The majority of my people don't trip if I take too long to get to the point. Cause I'm talking to more than just the people that understand quick. I got a variety of people that don't catch on as quick as others. So that's why I drag out and take my time getting to the point because I'm making sure everybody understand. Not just you, genius. That's why I say I don't, I don't like too many people, man. I got a few people I like. I don't, I don't fuck with people for real. I don't deal with humans. So anyway, back to the doom and gloom. This is my peak season. This is my busiest time of the year, and I'm off work. We ain't had nothing coming in today. Might be slow for the rest of the week. When we're going to be wide open. You know why we ain't wide open? Because y'all ain't spending no money. You know why y'all ain't spending no money? Because y'all ain't got no money. And you want me to be positive? Tell y'all something good? For what? So you be so you can have a false sense of hope out here and you go out here and not be prepared? I had a lady inbox me, email me, ask me a question. She said, Big Warren, I want you to uh, answer this question on one of your videos. I'm gonna answer it now. Cause we got a lot of people out here talking about voting for Kamala, what have you. And I tell all y'all who not voting for Kamala to prepare for if she win, how devastating it's gonna be on society, on the world, on the economy, on our way of life, on everything gonna be pretty much gone just like that. So I tell y'all prepare for that. But she said, Big Ward, what would you do if when this time come where the world's in chaos, Kamala Harris is in office and her, her people are starving and one of them come knock on your door asking you for some help, what would you do, Big Ward? If you know it's a Kamala Harris supporter, what would you do if they come knocking on your door, hungry, starving, in bad shape? Can you please help me? And I'm knowing they are responsible 
for it being the way it is because they are responsible for putting her in office and she's the one who got it to where they ass knocking on my door asking for some help. What would I do? Boom! Slam that son of a bitch. That's what I do. And then I'm gonna call the police. Get that son of a bitch out of here. That's what I'm gonna do. Go ask Kamala for some help. I ain't got it. I'm trying to survive too. Self preservation is a must. I told your ass. So don't 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 come over here. You you good? Y'all listen to Ricky Smiley. Y'all uh, voted your AKA in, and she gonna be sworn in by Katanja Brown Jackson. And don't you feel chills? And then she gonna be sworn in on Martin Luther King holiday. Blah 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 blah. You should feel chills, black people. You feel chills now, don't you? It's freezing outside. You ain't got no heat in the house. Cause you can't afford it. Oh, you feel chill now, don't you? Or you might feel a little heat. Cause it's hot as hell outside. You ain't got no AC. Cause the power bill a thousand dollars a month. So to answer your question, young lady, that's what I would do. If a Kamala Harris supporter came knocking on my door during the during the famine that she caused, asking me for some help, I'm gonna slam that door so goddamn hard. They're gonna sound like some 18s in a trunk beating down the block. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all know some 18s is in the trunk, right? That's how, that how that door gonna sound when I slam it in her face. Asking me for some damn help. Here I am, in here eating beans and rice that I've been storing for months. And I told y'all to do the same and you didn't do it. I ain't got nothing for you. This the purge, baby. Some of y'all need to, you know, fall off. Evaporate. It be extinct. So we can rebuild this thing and fix it the right way when all y'all gone, when your imbeciles are gone. So no, I ain't gonna help you make it. People with that mindset that allowed it to get to that point, I'm not trying to keep y'all around here. I'm not trying to help you hang on so you can keep screwing it up. It's happening for a reason, the purge. Maybe it's time for y'all to get the hell away from here. Like this joker here, giving me advice on something he ain't even doing. That's the world we living in right now, how entitled people feel that you need to do what they want you to do. Even if it's against what you want to do. You need to make them happy, not you. you I need to listen to him with 219 subscribers in 10 years. A quitter, cause he ain't just get 219 subscribers in 10 years, he been quitting, quitting. I'ma listen to a quitter. You, ain't no way you ain't got but two, well I ain't really putting no forth and no effort in my channel like you the one really trying to grow your channel big boy. I ain't trying to grow mine like that, but what the hell you talking to me for? Don't you know what's money in this? Why are you over here trying to tell, if you know so much, grow your own damn channel so you can get this money. I'm gonna listen to you. That's who we got running around out here voting. People like that. That's how you're going to end up with a Kamala Harris president. People like that. That idiot right there. Thinking they know something. Don't know nothing. Uh, the evidence, they don't care nothing about what the evidence or the proof say. The evidence says you got 219, I'm not 219,000. You got 219 subscribers. The evidence should show you that you ain't in no position to get nobody advice on how to grow their channel. But you don't care what the evidence say. The evidence said Kamala Harris is not worthy to be vice president, senator, or anything. But y'all don't care about the evidence said. You're going up how you feel. He feel like he can tell me how to grow my channel. He don't know he can. He just feel like he got some good advice for me. But he ain't even adhering to his own advice because if he, if he knew so much, he would be beyond me, past me. But instead, you got 219. Here you are, finna vote for Kamala Harris, who ain't got not nothing on her platform, nothing on her website, no policy, no nothing. I've asked these, y'all have seen me ask these people in my comment section, because I've seen some of y'all coming on it too. People asking me, why do I think Trump is better 
than Harris. I just say economy only. I don't, that's all I care about, economy. So I won't be sitting in this, this car right now making a video. I will be in my truck at work making a video every day, all day. That's why I think Trump is better because when he's in office, I, I, I compare the differences. When he was in office, I worked till I couldn't work no more. Biden in office, I'm making videos from the Toyota. It's a no brainer for me. Now I, I turn around and ask them same people that asked me, why do I think Trump is better than Harris? I ask them, why do they think Harris is better than Trump? I get no response, crickets. Oh, I, I put in there, without abortion, without talking about abortion rights and le illegal immigrant rights. What do you see in her? What is she talking about besides abortion rights and illegal immigrants? What do you see? What is she running on? What she says she gonna do? I get no response. No answer. Crickets. Now I can answer why I picked Trump, which ain't got but one. But that one is enough for right now where we at. What's killing us right now is the economy. Yes, we got police killing, still this, that, and going on. That ain't what's tearing us down right now, though. That's one of the issues in our in our society. The police killing innocent people, still killing black people. But that's not like way up on the totem pole of issues we need to face. We got to take care of that too. Don't get me wrong. That's got to be dealt with. But if we list in order of importance and of, de of, of detriment of what's destroying this country the most, if we list in order what's the most important, devastating thing that's going on right now, number one is the economy. The economy will be number one. People can't afford to buy homes no more. Groceries, gas, the bare necessities, people can't afford them. That's our number one priority right now, the economy. Not no damn abortion, gay rights. I ain't saying all of them are not important issues, but if you list them into a list of importance about how they affect our society, what's affecting us the most and that's affecting the more, most people right now is the dead ass economy we got going on. It's high as inflation. That's what's mo affecting Everybody, except rich people, which ain't many of them. Abortions are not affecting the majority of Americans. Gay rights are not affecting the majority of Americans. Now those illegal immigrants, they got a big, they number two. The economy, the number two illegal immigrants. Got to go. Cause that's tied into the economy as well. Them two issues right there. And that's what Donald Trump said he gonna address the most. The economy, and day one of mass deportation of illegal immigrants. Not no DACA, not no time to see how can we can if, um, get them into society and what happened. No, back across the border you go. That's the solution for that. We gotta deal with the ones that's already been here 10, 15 years trying to get, get in here legally. We gotta get, let them get citizenship. Not these illegal jokers, every illegal got their goal. Trump is the only one saying that. Kamala Harris and Democrats trying to figure out a way to make them legal. Even though they came here illegally. We ain't trying to make them legal. We don't want them legal. We want them out of here. But we're going to deal with the ones who came here legally. How to make them citizens. Who did it the right way. We've always had an immigration policy. That ain't nothing new. Some people just don't follow it. So my immigration policy is the same as Trump's, if I was president. We're going to find out a way, we're going to fast track the ones who were here legally to make them citizens because they've been contributing. The legal immigrant, the one who came here the right way, we're going to take care of them and them only. You illegals, I'm hiring motherfucking border patrol, I'm hiring cops, I'm hiring every swinging Johnson I can find for deportation purposes only. I'm paying them about 100 k a year. So I'm going to make sure those jobs are going to fill up. Your only job, every if, if, if they ain't speaking English, let me see that Let me see that paperwork. 
All right, get in that van right there. Let's go. Straight to, straight to the border. Now get your ass out of here. But that my show, but that, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, but you gotta go. You gotta go. That's why I picked Trump. Nothing else. Economy, illegal immigrants, all that moral stuff. He uh, he talked crazy. He a racist. He did that or whatever. Joe Biden's a racist. Y'all don't want to admit that crap. Bill Clinton got hand in the White House. Don't give me all that. Don't get don't get moral and, and religious on me now, Democrats. In case you didn't notice, this is another rant video because I'm pissed. I'm tired, frustrated with the bullshit. And it looks like we got more bullshit coming because we got guys like this joke out here that get the vote. Imagine a broke dude telling a rich dude how to make money. That's what we're dealing with right now. And somebody then gave them people a voice. When they should be somewhere quiet like a church mouse. That joker shouldn't have nothing to say to me. But because of the little platform, he can get on here and use his little fingers, his little bit of fingers, and tell me what I need to do with my channel. And he don't even know what to do with his own. He came, stay on the channel two or three weeks without quitting. Is that enough doom and gloom for you? We in trouble. I'll try to be on a lighter note next video. Not. I'm talking about what's going on. If you don't like it, get your ass on. Get it. Got it. Good. Bye.